Hello there. My name is Floor Galaxy, but you can call me Floor. I swear if the background music is gonna make my video copyrighted, I'm gonna be very upset. Anyway, today we're gonna be taking a look at a $77 phone lot that, and I actually still don't know how many phones there are in there. I have looked at them, but I have not bothered counting them because there are so many. I will put the amount of phones in the title so you guys will see exactly how many phones they got in the phone lot. So, some of these were tested to fully work, some of these were tested to have issues. Well, one of these specifically. The rest of them are untested though, so let's see. That's a lot. Like, that's actually so many phones. Ooh, this is gonna be a fun experience, so let's see. This one is completely untested, and is this a slider phone or is this just, nope, it's not, it's not a slider phone. So this is a Glowfish, <laughs> what is, this works. Wow, literally this, this wasn't tested and it just started off working. This is, this is the first Windows mobile phone that I have that fully works. Okay, next phone, Sony Xperia something. I have no clue what this is, but we will see. Uh, this is the power button, I believe. And it works as well. This is starting off strong. Okay, HTC. Uh, I don't know what this is. I don't know what any of these are. I think this is a Glowfish X650. Ooh, this is not looking too great. Oh no, this one has errors. No. Okay, this one's sad. Next is this HTC, I don't know what this is, but it is a Windows mobile phone. Okay, next, ooh, this is in a case. And the case is actually in good condition too. Oh, I think I know this one. Yeah, it's an HTC tattoo. I think. I don't know, there was an HTC tattoo either way. Nice. Okay, so I think this is the power button. And it is the HTC tattoo indeed. So this is Windows Mobile. Ooh. I am going to blur out the faces in the editing because, um... Ooh, this booted up. Okay, so it does not actually have issues. Ooh, this actually doesn't... The touch screen doesn't work. That's concerning. Uh, so this does not have a SIM card. Okay, why does it... Ooh, cool. Nice. Okay, so this also works. All of these work. Except for this one. I don't know what's up with it, but uh, yeah, the touchscreen ain't looking too bright. Yeah, this is this is unfortunate. Hopefully the touchscreen on this one works. Ooh. Yeah, no service. Trust me, I, I get it. Just let me unlock. Ooh. Yeah, I, I suppose these are resistive touchscreens. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at this later. Yeah, of course. Of course, this one will also see the no SIM card issue. Okay, next. This is this was a cool one. So this is an Acer. Uh, this is an Acer E130. This is in great condition. And yes, this has been tested. This works perfectly fine. And this one has also been tested. So these three are untested. And of course... I think all of these three have a broken touchscreen, but this one is, was tested. I don't understand why the touchscreen is broken on that. Okay, until then, let's... Uh, ooh, this is a knockoff, I think. Yeah, it is. It is a knockoff of the Sony Ericsson. Express music? Come on, you can't trick me. This is a Nokia-branded thing, but... Okay, anyway, let's see. Does this work? I doubt it does. Oh, that's actually a cute ringtone. Followed by the worst ringtone ever, and yeah, this works. Cool. Next. I don't know what this is. Like, at all. What is this supposed to be? And where is the power button? Okay, again, I don't want the music to be making me copyrighted, so I will just be shouting a little bit louder. I apologize. This works as well. All of these work. Literally all of these work. Is this a slider phone? No, it's not. It's not a slider phone. Yeah, the battery's getting low. Wow, this is actually a nice wallpaper, and the touchscreen works just fine. That's really cool. Wow, really nice. Okay, that's that's... Gee, thanks, that was loud. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, this is pretty cool. All of these are pretty cool. Again, I'm, uh, you know, taking out the... Oh, I see. This one's cool. Okay, we'll check on that one later. This is a Motorola Droid 1. This is something that I would have never even thought of getting. Oh, the, the rubber back is melted. Sad face. Ooh, this is nice. Wow, that's actually super cool. Okay, love this one. Yeah, okay. Please um, power down. Okay, thank you. What the? Wow. That was quick. Okay, let's see this. Uh, so this is the power button, I believe. Oh, this one is okay. Ooh, and it works. Again, one of these that I really did not expect to see working. Uh, please just power down. Yeah, no. Guess we're leaving with that until I check what's wrong with this. Because there's something wrong. Again, we're checking on these ones later. Uh, until then, I'm just trying to get out all of the, like, silly earphones. Ooh, this one's nice. This one has been tested as well, and yes, this does work. So this is a LG. I think it's a KS20. Where is the power button? Oh, it's right here. Yep, it works exactly as advertised. Oh, nice. Please, let me unlock. Thank you. Oh, you're this close. Okay, it did unlock. Okay, let's see how it looks when I slide it. Hell yeah, that looks so cool. Please get me out of phone. Thank you very much. I don't like this. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. I don't want to be in that screen. No, stop, 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 stop. Oh my god. Yeah, something's wrong. Uh-oh. 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 The touchscreen's not working. Oh, this is a Windows Mobile one. That's nice. A lot of these are in German. How many of these are going to be part of, like, how many of these are going to be German? And, yeah, now it's working again. Cool. Yeah. We'll just wait. These are kind of odd. What? Okay, so this is, uh, this is just a screensaver. This is a Nokia Lumia 820. This one was really cool, and this has been tested to work. Nice. It does work exactly as advertised. Oh my gosh, I really hope this one works. It has a battery, but the back cover slides off disturbingly easily. Anyway, this is a Samsung Star or something. Either way, this is super cool. Uh, this one does not have any charge. That's a shame. Yeah, we'll test that later. Ooh, nice. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, so this is another Nokia Lumia. It's a 530. Cool. Also works. So far, this one is the only one that's untested. But we'll test it later. Ooh, this one. So this is a Nokia Lumia 635. Booting this one up as well. Hopefully, anyway. So these three have been tested to work. Maybe this one just doesn't have a battery. It, well, doesn't doesn't have charge anyway. But yeah, these two fully work. This one, we'll see. Ooh, this is locked. <laughs> this is locked. This makes me sad. This makes me upset. Anyway. Oh, I think I know what this is. This is the Huawei Y6. Yep. Let's power it up. And here you go. This is our first actually usable Android phone from here. Oh, this one. This one's cool. This is the Samsung Galaxy A3, I believe. Uh, I'll test this one a little bit later. The screen's coming off, so I don't think it works. What is this? 
Oh, this is a limited edition one. This is a doji. I hope that this works. The power button's on the left, which is cursed. And there you go, that one's booted up. This one, not tested. We'll test it later. Let's see the A3. Ooh, also, also not booting up. Actually, let's put these untested ones in a specific category. And yeah, would you look at that, that one works. Just as advertised. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm putting these three in a specific pile. We'll leave that for later. Okay, this one. What even is this? I don't think it works. It doesn't even have a battery. Yeah, nope, nope, no, this is this does not work. This is a J7 2017, and I think this one works. Yeah, this does work, but it has a broken broken. Sorry, it doesn't have a, an AMOLED. Doesn't vibrate though, which is weird. Okay, next. Oh, I this is my first iPhone. An iPhone SE. Let's see if it works. Nope. I mean, it does work, but I don't have a lightning cable. <laughs> so yeah, that sucks. Uh, yeah, next we have the HTC Wildfire S. This has been tested, but unfortunately the touchscreen is broken. So, yeah. Uh, let's see it booting. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll put this one in the charger as well. And same goes for this. What is this? This is a Chinese thing. I don't know what it is. Besta. I hope I didn't accidentally say something bad. Uh, this is the power on switch. This has a power switch. It doesn't have a power button. Huh. Well, clearly it's not working. Again, I'll test this one later. Ooh, that's that's a nasty sound. Thank you very much for that. Ooh, this is an S3 Mini. Yeah, unfortunately, nothing seems to be there. That sucks, but I also did not expect to find anything. This one is also dead. What is this? I think this one may work. This is an LG, but I don't know what this is. Ooh, it works. As expected, though. Okay, these ones are gonna be the really cool ones. Oh, there's another Lumia. No, it's not a Lumia. This is even cooler. This is Nokia 3. I really hope this one works, but it feels light, so I don't think it has a battery. Wow. I mean, loud ringtone aside. I don't think this one works, though. Let's just power it up. Yeah. Maybe I should test it. Maybe not. Yeah, we'll see what I do with this one. Okay, next, this is an old one. This is an oldie but a goldie. This is a this is an HP Windows Mobile phone. Literally nothing. Again, untested. We'll put that to the side. Wow, that's kind of cool. Oh yeah, this one. This is the LG Stylus Two. I was told that this one works, but I have a hard time believing that. Maybe it does work though. Ooh, yeah, it does. That's really cool. Can't wait to see that booth. Yeah, there's no way this works. This is an Avatel pop something. Yeah, no, I don't think this one works. If this does work, I'll be surprised. It showed something for a second. No, no, never mind, it didn't. But I mean, I can't test it because it feels like a Full, it feels like a complete phone. Ooh, what is this? Again, this feels like another one of these that has been tested and it works. Is it? No, it's not. That's a shame. We'll test it later. So let's see how this one works. Oh, I, I've seen the battery ran low. Well, that's okay. Okay. Ooh, this one's, this one's rare. This one's one that I really want. So this is an HTC Touch Diamond, or a Touch Dual, sorry. But it's one that I really, really want, and I really want it to work. Oh, this is the power button. Whoops. Almost lost all my hope there. 
and now I've lost it all. Maybe it works. Maybe it just needs some time on the charger. Yeah, I think I have that charging port. Okay, next. Oh, this is another HEC. I think this is the power button for this. Nope, this is the power button. Oh, this is a slider phone. Oh, it works. Oh, sorry, someone else needs. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. This, uh, this just pulled a shutting down because of the slide mechanism. I've seen that before, and it was also on the HTC. That's not too great. Well, it did show signs of life, so it does work. Maybe. This. What even happened here? So this is definitely a newer Huawei phone. I have doubts that this works, though. Yeah. We'll put this on the charger, maybe. These ones are the ones that I'm really curious about, and there are people shooting something that I don't want to figure out. Yeah, this is a J5, J5 2017. This one probably has a broken AMOLED, as it said. I don't see the cracks. That, no, never mind, never mind, I do. I do, but they're barely visible on camera. Yeah. Again, this works about as well as you would expect it to, so. This one, what even is this? It's missing its side. Oh, and it's missing the buttons too. But thankfully, no, never mind. My nails are not long enough to reach the power button. I uh, will find some way to see if this works. This is really weird though. All of you, something. Still haven't looked it up, but it is a Viper. Here's the power button. Ooh, that power button's stuck. Yeah. I'll plug this on the charger. We'll see if it works. And same with this one, actually. This one. What even? There is no way that this works. So this is an S4 Active. And... Oh, it does work. This is a really broken LCD. Okay, I mean, that's cool. I guess I'll plug it in on the charger later. So this is an S3, and it does not have a battery from what I can tell. Yeah, oh, it doesn't even have the connectors. Oh, never mind. It does. It does have the connectors. I do have another battery that I can test this with, but I will leave it in the untested category. This is really cool, and I'll unbox it soon. But until then, let's see what these ones are about. So this is, this is just some hallway Nova cases. Yeah, and there you go. We have three HTC one m I believe they're all one m Yep, all of them are one m Okay, let's see. Let's start with the most damaged one. Power button's right there. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, next phone, looks a little less damaged, although still unlikely to work, okay. And finally this one, this one looks to be in near mint condition. Still doesn't do anything, that's okay, we'll test all of these three later. And finally let's see this one, so this is an LG Optimus 4X and there's more phones in here. So this one, I don't know what this is. Oh, I see. This is an HTC Desire HD. Does this work? I guess we'll test this one again. Okay, and finally the Optimus 4X itself. Yeah. There are some fireworks, and here you go. The Optimus 4X works, thankfully.
There's something else in here. I, I just, I can just feel it. There's something else. Yeah, there's actually the accessories. Okay. That's, I mean, a little bit surprising, but also a little bit non-surprising to have there, to be honest. Anyway, this is actually really fun. However, we will have to plug in each of these phones and see if they work. So, I will be back tomorrow to tell you if they work. Hi, this is the update. So, this is a day later. And as you can see, one of these phones already works. Uh, anyway, I got 40 phones from this phone lot. For $77, that is actually a pretty good deal, but I will give a disclaimer at the very end of the video, since there is something important I would like to mention about these phones, and phone lights like this one specifically. So, let's start off with the, let's just say, less fortunate of these phones. So, these three have certain issues. And that being that they don't even have all the parts necessary to be phones. So, this S3 Mini and this Huawei P8 Lite are both literally just a frame, are literally just like a frame and a screen. However, it's worse for the P8 Lite because this one not only has a, wait, it doesn't even have a frame, it's literally just a back and a front, and they're both completely done. At least the S3 Mini has some aesthetic reasons to keep it, which I absolutely will do. But yeah, this one has no reason to be kept. Next up is this Nokia 3. Uh, this one is untested, but it is actually a phone. But it does not have a battery in it, and yeah, just judging from the inside, I don't think that this will work. Next up are these two. This is a Galaxy J5 2017. This one has a broken AMOLED. And this is a Galaxy J7 2017. This does not have a display at all. This one has shown some signs of life, such as vibrating twice. But yeah, that's about it for this one. And for this, well... I mean, again, barely shows anything. But yeah, next we have this iPhone SE. This one is untested as well, but it does show signs of life. It does show the Apple logo for a brief bit, but then it just stops. It is running very, very low on battery though, so that would explain why. Also, yeah, that camera, we're not getting that back. With iPhones, you do have to name every single issue with the iPhone in question, so I don't think I'll try to repair this one. I will try to test it though, but that's about it, because I think I can sell this like that, because it does power on. Okay, next we have the HTC Wildfire S. Unfortunately, this does not work at all. Or maybe it's just the battery that's broken, but yeah, no, I don't think that's the case. I don't think this works. The reason why I don't think it works is because it has charged the battery, yes, but that battery has done literally nothing when used inside the phone itself. Like, the battery had charge, and it still chose to do literally nothing. So I don't think this one works. It was listed as... Working but with a broken touch screen. Yeah, it's not. Next, we have a Samsung Star, which was untested, but turns out it fully works. Well, besides the touch screen, actually. So, ironically, this one was the one that should have been listed as such. Anyway, the Samsung Fun Club boot up. I really, really wish I could have gotten this one too have a startup sound because I know this would have been fun but yeah this is unfortunate oh wait 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 I think I know this screen may actually work no it doesn't sad well oh, that's a shame I think I can find a new touch screen maybe 
Anyway, next we have the LG Renoir. I think that's how you pronounce it. This works, but the battery is a little iffy on this one. It is on T-Mobile. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, this fully works, besides the battery. I did put the battery from my other phone specifically to test this one. Okay, next we have the Eaton Glowfish X650. This fully works. However, I have no clue how to reset this one because, again, the battery is a little bit iffy. And seeing us for the touchscreen actually, but it does work. The touchscreen does work, but the battery is very, very iffy. And seeing us for the touchscreen, and you can tell. Next, we have the LG KS20. This fully works. This is running Windows Mobile, so that's cool. Like, I really like these Windows Mobile phones. I do think that I'll be keeping these around for a bit. So like the Glowfish one, the LG one, a couple of the HTCs, you know, the ones that actually work. Anyway, uh, and yeah, I think that's all of the Windows phones. Well, in the Windows phone phones, if you will, like the Windows when running Windows phone 8. But we'll get to those soon. Next, we have the LG Beauty Smile which has an extremely loud startup and shutdown noise. This is locked to orange. Ready for it? Even when I cover the speaker, it's still super loud. I think that just goes to show. Also, this is such a weird thing. Like, this is... Just a, like a plain gray screen. I mean, it's not completely plain. It does have a pattern inside of it. But that's about it. And then the shutdown is just like an animation, which is super cool. Uh oh. Yeah, um, I'll do that real quick. Anyway. Waiting. Why does it do that? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, this can be calming, but still. Also, yeah, the back is in pretty rough condition. This is definitely a phone that I would rather use rather than sell because it doesn't make a whole lot of money, but it is pretty fun. Same goes with the original VT that I also have. Okay, next we have the HTC HD Mini. This one fully works. Although I can shut it down and restart it again just to show its startup sound. Because that startup sound is actually pretty alright. And the startup animation is even cooler. Next we have the HTC Touch Dual, and unfortunately this is untested. I have no way to test this one. It has shown some signs of life after being on the charger, but that was basically it. So this is running Windows Mobile as well. I think this is 6.1 as well as this one being 6.1. This one is definitely 6.1. Okay. Uh, anyway, this one is a little bit unfortunate because I would have really loved to try this one out. Unfortunately, yeah, it does not work. When it comes to how expensive it would be if it worked, I mean, it might work. It might actually work. It's just not tested properly. Maybe the battery is the only thing that's broken because it does show, like, it, it sends current to the battery. Like, there's something going on there, but, yeah. I mean, it even shows a red LED, I think. I don't remember. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't, sorry. Same goes for this one. It does show a red LED, but it does nothing else with that. Okay, next. Oh, yeah. Next, we have the HTC Herald. So, this is on O2, apparently. And, yeah, this one... 
And this one has a touchscreen problem. And the touchscreen does not work. Okay, next we have the HTC Tattoo. Whoops. Again, I will restart this because the startup animation is very cool. Okay, as you can see here. I'll just put it right here. Next, we have the LG Optimus Net. This fully works. These two are the first Android phones here, by the way. This is on Android 1.6. This is on Android 2.3.4. Okay, next we have the Acer 130. This, this works perfectly fine. This is also running Android 1.6. However, I would argue that the more entertaining part of this phone is just scrolling around again with the scroll wheel and typing on the keyboard. Like, the keyboard is actually really, really cool. And yes, this is a touchscreen phone, believe it or not. My fingerprints kind of prove it. Yeah, the battery was running low on that one. Okay, next we have the Motorola Droid. Oh, that's actually a pretty cool uh, startup sound, I forgot. Anyway, this is a Motorola Droid 1. This fully works. Although the touchscreen is a little bit iffy. And that includes the touch buttons. Yeah. Trying to get it to reset is pretty difficult. And trying to get it to get to apps is also kind of difficult as well. So. Yeah, while it's definitely a little bit laggy, it does otherwise work, which is surprising. Yeah, of course, it was not this phone that actually died. It was another one. Okay, anyway. Yeah, as you can see, this one's also pretty cool. This is running under 2.2, I believe. Next, we have some sort of Italian phone. An Italian knockoff of a Sony Xperia X10, I believe. It's actually larger than the original X10, which makes it funnier. But the depressing part is that it only worked for the first time. Like, you saw it work in the unboxing video, but after that, no, it just doesn't show anything on the screen. It's just gone. Next is the Sony Xperia Neo L, which has a broken touch screen, but otherwise it does fully work. I will not be powering this on though, even if it does work, just because it has personal info on it. Next is the HTC Desire HD. This is completely untested, and unlike the other phones that are untested, such as this one, or another one that I will show you, uh, that, uh, such as this one or this one, this one literally does not do anything. It does not heat up at all whatsoever it stays cold so that means that there is no current going through this so this is just completely gone it doesn't work most likely or it doesn't have a battery I don't know next is the Galaxy A3 and this one does show some heat when it goes on the charger but the reason why it's untested is because it doesn't do anything after that so it's a similar thing to the HTC Dual and the HTC Wildfire S that I already mentioned. This one does not show anything, but it, uh, but it feels like it's doing something inside while it's charging. But yeah, unfortunately, this is untested, even though this would have been super cool to play around with. Next, we have the LG Optimus 4X. This fully works. Except for the bottom half of the touch screen. Yeah. That's depressing. This is running Android 4.0.3. Sorry, not the bottom half of the touch screen, just the bottom, like this part of the touch screen. That unfortunately includes the touch buttons. Yeah. It is in a box and everything, and that makes it even sadder because. It really just goes to show, when you buy old phones, the last thing that you want to do is buy them from a box. They're less likely to work. Because they have been in there for 10 years, you don't know what broke. 
Okay, next we have the Huawei Y6 2015. This is running Android 5.1.1 and it fully works. Okay. I like the simplistic theme, by the way. Really cool. Next we have an HP IPAC HX2410. Untested, but looks really cool and is in mint condition. So I do think this would work. The reason for the stains is because I tried to clean up this plastic bit with a wet wipe, but it's not working very well. It happens on phones like this sometimes. Next we have three Nokia Lumias. All of them work. So we have the Nokia Lumia 530, the Nokia Lumia 635, and the Nokia Lumia 820, all of all of which work brilliantly. Like I actually tested each of the three out when it comes to doing some like web browsing and stuff, just to see if they have literally any use. And they do to some extent. Like these are still pretty cool phones to have. Like these three are possibly some of the few that actually. Well, they are kind of in the same league as Android 4.0 or 4.1 phones because they don't have a whole lot of apps to choose from, but they still have enough smart functionalities that it makes them worth it still. Surprisingly enough, even though the operating system is dead. This is on O2, this is on Orange, but I, I think I already mentioned that. Anyway. Uh, next we have an S3 Neo. This one fully works, but it is passcode locked, unfortunately. Yes, it did have a broken OLED before I replaced the OLED. Again, fortunately, it has a passcode lock now, and the power button is stuffed, which I did not even realize until after I repaired this, so that's unfortunate. Next we have a Galaxy S4 Active. This one shows some signs of life, but barely, like, like very, very barely, I mean. Like, it sometimes will boot up, sometimes it won't. Like, it has something going there, but it's not very stable. And I did not expect it to be stable. I, I mean, actually, I did expect it to be stable. I did not expect it to show anything on the screen, which, I mean, doesn't really. But I did expect it to be at least a little bit stable, which it is not, unfortunately. Now on to the really sad part of this phone lot. A bunch of untested or not working phones. These two have shown no life or any signs of heat, so neither of these work, most likely. This one has shown signs of life, but only the red LED, so this is untested. This one has shown signs of life as well. The screen works, which is something that I can confirm is that the screen works and the battery works and the charging port works. However, I think the power button is stuffed on this one. So this is the reason why this is also untested. This Duji phone is also untested, but given the fact that I put a battery into this and it still refuses to power on, I don't think that it is the fact that it's tested I think that it just does not work at all which is unfortunate because this phone looks really really clean next we have the Huawei P10 Lite unfortunately this does not work either but who expected this to work honestly another one of these that doesn't really expect it to work is the Sakatel Pop 5.5 I don't know which generation it is but it does not work either now this one I did expect it to work because it was in the listing, but looking at the condition, you wouldn't expect it to work. This is an LD Stylus 2, and it does actually work perfectly, but it needs a valid battery. And finally, possibly the best surprise that I've gotten in this film lot is this HTC One E9 Plus. Not only is it gigantic, not only is it in good condition, well, besides the missing buttons and SIM card, but it also fully works. This is running Android 
so a little bit outdated, yes, but it's still good enough for most tasks. Although it is funny seeing a phone this large have an older operating system than a phone this small. Anyway, this thing, uh, so that's really fun fact about these two. So putting these two both at the last row was not a coincidence at all. Is because they both have the exact same backstory. Where yesterday, while I was trying to test them, they would both uh, enter Google Play and it would crash. Then, for a while, I was like, you know what? I give up. The Google Play services don't work on either of these. And then, all of the uh, all of a sudden, for some reason, both of these decided to suddenly work with their Google Play Store. On this one, it took a very long time for everything to update. But it did update and now it fully works. Also, the speakers are really, really good on this one. I cannot show you that this works because, you know, the power buttons are missing and I have a special tool that I use to power this thing on. But yeah, um, I will show you guys a picture of this thing fully working. And for this one, I can show you right now. I mean, I already did, but... Who cares? I'll show you once more. Why not? Anyways, uh, yeah, everything works on both of these two, so that's really nice. The thing is, these two alone are worth the entire phone lot in terms of price. And in terms of usability, actually, which is why I'm not selling either of them. But now, speaking of which, the big question, was this phone lot worth it? Yes in terms of value. Like, if I were to sell each and every one of these phones, I'd make a huge profit. Like, absolutely huge. Each of these phones is between a third of the price of the entire lot to the price of the entire lot itself. Like, these are not cheap. Absolutely whatsoever. Like, just as an example, this one, even though it's a fairly simple phone, this one is one of the least expensive ones, actually. This one costs about $12 by itself, and the phone lot is 77 This one costs $12 as well, maybe. Now we get into the expensive ones. This one costs about 20 to $30. This one costs about the same. This one costs probably a bit more, actually. I've checked this one. This one does cost a fair bit, actually. But I don't... I kind of forgot how much it was exactly. But it was still around that mark. This is very searched here. At least where I live. So this is actually worth more than the lot itself. Well, not in its condition, but um, even in its condition, I think I can still sell it for $44, which is pretty good. Good for a phone like this. This phone, because it's in its box and everything, I think, like, this phone by itself is already worth, like, a solid 20 to $30 in its box with every accessory. I think that this is worth a lot more. And then there's this one, also twenty to thirty dollars, but I'm not planning to sell this. This one, this one is stupidly rare. I found an offer that, like, I found sellers that would literally sell this for as high as seven thousand dollars, and like, yeah, this is absolutely insane. So yeah, even untested, it's very, very expensive. Again, more expensive than the entire lot. So. Got a pretty good deal with this one. These three, this one specifically costs about fifty to sixty dollars just by itself. Then there's these two that there's these two. This one costs about twenty three, and this one also about twenty three. No, no, it's it is significantly more expensive. It's like forty or fifty. So again, all of these three are quite a bit. These two not uh, these two are not worth a lot. Neither are these three or these or these at all. Probably because they don't work. For the most part. And then there's these two. 
This one would probably only be worth about $21 given its condition and the fact that it needs a new battery, but this, this one's actually worth quite a bit. Uh, this one, I believe that it's worth about $44 as well to $50 in its current condition, which again is the reason why I'm not selling it because it's it's really good. I want to keep it. So in terms of value, like, yeah, obviously it was a good deal. Like it was a great deal actually, but in terms of playing around with the phones, these two are the only ones that would actually be useful day to day. And then all of these are just dead or they have some issues. Like this one has the issue with the battery that I mentioned before. These two, this one has many, many issues. It's just completely unstable. This one has issues with the battery and the power button and it's passcode locked as well. Uh, so yeah, no playing around with these. Uh, these three, I can play around with them, which is nice. I mean, I definitely can with these three and these two, so I got five phones to play around with. And then there's also, to some extent, the older ones, but after a while, it does start to feel the same. So after a while, you kind of want to, uh, you would kind of want to get rid of the ones that offer a less than ideal experience. So. I'm going to be selling some of these anyway, but yeah, I don't know, like in terms of, uh, in terms of, uh, value, like how much are these phones worth separately? Yeah. I'd say they're worth quite a bunch. Like I did actually search these prices up. I'm not making them out of my head. I did actually search how much these would sell for on eBay and Olex. These do actually sell for about the prices that I mentioned, or higher even, depending on which EV listing you're going for. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!